Hey, what's up? Welcome back to my channel and welcome to this tutorial. We went for a soft pink half cut crease, went with nice pinky tones on the lips just to kind of keep it all cohesive. As I said in my last video, I'm still feeling all like the soft pastel coloured vibes, so I'm just going to go with it while I'm inspired by it. So my next few videos will probably have a little bit of colour in it, so I hope you're down for that. Anyway, if you want to see how I do this whole look, then please keep watching. So I'm going to start off and I'm just going to prime my skin with the Marc Jacobs Primer. So foundation, I'm using the NARS foundation. This is in the shade Fiji. So I'm just spreading this out all over my skin first. And then I'm going to take some of my Dew the Hula. So it's just like a, um, like a liquid bronzer that I put. Sometimes I'll mix this with my foundation. So it just makes your foundation look a little bit more bronzy. And then blending that in with a beauty sponge. This one is from Morphe. And then to conceal and highlight, I'm using Shape Tape in the shade Light. So usual areas underneath the nose and in around the T-zone just to brighten the skin or like give that brightening effect. And then the same beauty blender, I'm just using that to blend it in. And then I'm going to take the clay stick foundation from Tarte in the shade Deep Honey. So I like to use this just to mark out my contour and to add a little bronze to my skin. And the brush I'm using is a Smith brush to blend this out. I can't remember the exact number, but I will put it in, put it below. So I'm going to take the Laura Mercier Brightening Powder and use this underneath my eyes and I use a little bit down through my T-zone. Last time I used this I didn't notice too much flashback but I would still be careful as to where I put this product because it is like a brightening powder. And then for my bronzer I'm using the Perfect Bronze from Annabelle. This is in the shade Sun Kissed. So basically just give my skin that sun kissed look because that's what I always need on my skin. From my eyes, I'm taking this Cafe D liquid lipstick, it's called Requiem, and I'm just putting it all over the lid, and then just going to blend it out with the brush. I just really like the tone of this colour, and felt like it just worked with the eye look I wanted to do. And this eyeshadow is an Anastasia Beverly Hills shadow in the shade Dusty Rose. Probably one of my favourite cooler tone shadows. Next shade is called Red Earth and I'm just going to use this into the crease just to start defining the eye. And I just go back and forth between my brushes just to keep the colours blending seamlessly into the next. This shade is called Beauty Mark. It is from Anastasia Beverly Hills as well. All of the single shadows are. So I'm just focusing this on the outer part of the crease or the outer part of the eye. Now I'm taking my shape tape and a small flat brush and I'm going to cut the inner part of the crease. I know I have done this a bit in the past but I just wanted to do a matte version of this because I just really like how this look looks. So basically cutting the crease and then at the end I just like to use my finger just to kind of blend the, blend the concealer into the shadow because I feel like the brush wasn't blending it enough. And then I'm going to take the Take Me Back to Brazil palette and using this soft pink here and putting this all over the lid and then back in with beauty mark just to kind of blend the shadows together again and because i was a little bit sloppy putting the pink on i'm just going back into the crease with a really small definer brush i think this is a 231 for mac if i'm right in saying that and just going in and sharpening that crease Okay, for the underneath, I'm taking coffee eye pencil from MAC and going right along the lash line. And blending that out again with a small shader brush. And to buff that out, I'm taking the Dusty Rose shade and softening the brown out. For my waterline, I'm going to take the Marc Jacobs Pink of Me. It's just a really, really soft, soft, subtle pink, but I wanted to keep the pink theme going. 
And I'm going to put my mascara on. This is the Marc Jacobs Mascara. And for my lashes, I'm taking the Esquito Lashes in the style Celestial. And we're just going to pop them on. So as you can see here, because I don't have a liner on, I kind of have that gap from where the, the lashes start. So I like to just take it and just do small little strokes and fill in this area bit by bit. This is just a great little trick to do if you're someone who doesn't like to wear liner or doesn't wear liner a lot. It just kind of pulls the whole look together. So you can see the difference here. It just, yeah, pulls it together a little bit more. So for the inner corner, I'm taking this Powder Room Pigment from Morphe and I'm going to highlight the inner corners. And I'm going to take my good old trusty Hoola and we're going right underneath the cheekbones again just to carve them out. For my blush, this is Warm Soul from MAC. It's just like this soft, neutral shade just for a little bit of colour on the cheeks. So I'm trying this highlighter for the first time, it's from NARS and it's called Capri. So I just dust that on my cheekbones and it is really pretty and it shimmers a lot but it's, it just came off a little bit too pinkish for me. I prefer a bit more of a goldy highlight so I just go back into the NARS cheek palette and take this middle shade because it's a little bit more of a champagne-y kind of finish and just blend that with it. I feel like it just gives it that more golden shade that I like. And my skin was feeling a little dry, so I'm just going to spritz some Fix Plus on to add a little bit of hydration. Finishing it off with my lips, this is a Bite Beauty pencil in number 12. So I'm just going to line my lips and then go in with the Dose of Colours lipstick. This is the shade Blush. So we're keeping it all nice and soft and pinky to kind of keep the whole theme coming together. And the gloss is the Patrick Star MAC Cosmetics Gloss. Don't know the name, but I'll link it below. So this is the finished look. I hope you like this makeup look. I'm really happy with how it came out. I just like that it's still like a wearable look. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.